Hello everyone, my name is Titus and today we are going to derive expression for finite velocities of two bodies during inelastic collision. Okay, so to derive the expression, first let us draw the diagram. So let us consider two bodies of masses m1 and mass m2. They are moving with in initial velocities u1 and u2 where u1 is greater than u2. So this is before collision. Then after some time they will collide and then after collision the velocities will change. So let us say this to be the mass m2, m1 mass moving the velocity v1 and mass m2 moving with the velocity v2. This is after collision. Okay. So now let us derive the expression. So from laws of conservation of momentum we have so from law of conservation of momentum we have momentum before collision collision is equal to momentum after collision. So before collision the masses are with the velocity u1 and u2. So we have m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 or we can write m1 into u1 minus v1 is equal to m2 into v2 minus u2. Let us call this to be equation <coughs> 1. Since this is inelastic collision, kinetic energy is not conserved. Kinetic energy is not conserved. So here we will take into consideration the coefficient of restoration, uh, restoration which we have divide, which we have described in the previous tutorial as uh, E is equal to minus V2 minus V1 divided by U2 minus U1. This is the ratio of final relative velocity divided by the initial relative velocity. So from this we can simplify and we can write E into u2 minus e into u1 is equal to v1 minus v2 or we have v1 is equal to e u2 minus e u1 plus v2. Putting this value in equation 1, this, this equation, so putting this value in equation 1, we get m1 into u1 minus e into u2 plus e into u1 minus v2 is equal to m2 into v2 minus u2. Okay. Or simplifying Further we get m1 u1 minus m1 into e u2 plus m1 into e u1 minus m1 v2 is equal to m2 v2 minus m2 u2. And for the simplification we have m2 v2 plus 
m1 v1 is equal to m1 u1 minus m1 e u1 m1 u1 no this is m1 e u2 plus m1 e u1 plus m2 u2 and then we have v2 into sorry this will be m1 plus m2 so v2 into m1 plus m2 is equal to u1 m1 into 1 minus e plus u2 into m2 minus e times m1 or we have v2 is equal to u1 m1 into 1 minus e divided by m1 plus m2 plus u2 into m2 minus e m1 divided by m1 plus m2 or we have v2 is equal to u1 m1 into 1 minus e plus u2 into m2 minus e times m1 whole divided by m1 plus m2 similarly by the same method we can find value for v1 and we'll simply write it as v1 is equal to u2 m2 into 1 minus e plus u1 into m1 minus e times m2 whole divided by m1 plus m2 let us call this to be equation 2 and this to be equation 3 for an n elastic collision e is equal to 0 so for an in elastic collision e is equal to 0 and so the equation for v1 v2 will reduce to so v1 will be equal to u2 m2 into 1 minus 0 plus u1 into m1 minus 0 whole divided by m1 plus m2 or that will be u2 m2 plus u1 m1 by m1 plus m2 is equal to v1 similarly we will get the value for v2 is equal to u1 m1 plus u2 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 we see that both the expression that is v1 is equal to v2 so from this we conclude that uh, the final velocity of bodies after collision are same irrespective of the masses of the two colliding bodies.